Hi everyone, welcome to another County Com one take video. Today's cool product, this is the Nitro LED Extreme Flashlight. This flashlight, why is it so extreme? 4,200 feet of beam throw. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, you know, it's got a, uh, you know, here, let's, let, let me, let's talk about it. Got big old head on it. Got a uh, glass lens with AR coating. AR means anti-reflective. If you little, see that little blue hint, blue tinge, that's what that is. So that's a coating on the lens, so it's less reflective. Big old head. Got a, got a lit on lit up power switch. Those of you that have seen other videos know I don't care for that. Uh, not a problem. We can shut that off, and I'll show you how to do that a uh, little bit. The user interface very similar to other County Com flashlights. You know, we we. We, we, we make what we like, and we like that user interface. Runs on two, two batteries, and the batteries are the 21700. This flashlight does not include batteries. Uh, we recommend you use two good quality, you know, two high quality 21700s. This is an awesome light. It's gonna suck the power. It's still gonna run long, it's still gonna run really bright, but it does suck up the power. Um, and that's it, and it's, it's still it's unbelievable what it does. Uh, the tail cap. Let's talk about the tail cap. Tail cap has these four little bumps. Those four little bumps are window breakers for um, uh, you know side windows of glass, passenger and driver side windows of most cars. So that uh, allows you to turn this into a impact device. But they're not sharp, so they're not going to catch on your clothes, which I like. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about why I like that in just a second. So there's also a big hole down the middle. That big hole actually has threads on it. And they are tapped at quarter 20. So quarter inch uh, hole by with 20 threads per inch, quarter 20. So if you have a quarter 20 stud on a tripod, a uh, on your bicycle... You know, uh, you want to attach this to something. Quarter twenty, give us a quarter twenty thread. It'll screw right in, and you can attach it to things. That's kind of a cool thing. If you wanted to, you know, you put a put a, a screw eye there. Quarter twenty threads, and you've got a lanyard. And uh, you know, so it just gives you some flexibility. We wanted to include that right off the get go. Um, well, let's 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 talk about this user interface. So, as with most of our flashlights. So it's lit up blue. I said I don't like that. That's easy to fix, but we'll talk about that later. So um, press and hold, and it comes up in moonlight mode. This is like reading level stuff. It's uh, it's super, super dim, but you know what? More than adequate for everything. If I turn this thing on into turbo mode, you couldn't read, and you're, you know, you're going to be seeing stars. So let's, let's, uh, we'll talk more about that. So I turn this off, press and hold. I'm sorry, I press and hold. Good, do it, you know. Okay, I wanna turn it into just regular flashlight mode. There's my my moon mode, turn it off, boom. Regular flashlight mode, give it a click. There it is. That's more than adequate for walking, you know, around unfamiliar areas, all that. There's no reason I need to, you know, to burn anything. Uh, you know, or, you know, burn out my retinas. So yeah, that's more than adequate. That's a, you know, that's a good flashlight. But I press it again. Oh, got a little brighter. This turned it into medium mode. Yeah, that's medium mode. I click it again, bright mode. In fact, and the camera's just, you know, can't, can't handle that. Bright mode, that's enough for me to own a hallway. Absolutely. Anything that's going on in a hallway, I own that. Um, I double click it again. It went to turbo mode and turbo mode is enough for me to don't oh, look at that. You can see the dust on the table. Tur turbo mode is enough for me to dominate a, a, a hallway. No, not only do you own it, you dominate it and you powered it with, with light. So the cool thing I like about this bright flashlight for for for, for uh, taking a hallway, uh, you know, you are going to gather all of the information in that hallway because whatever you see, 
you're going to see everything with that bright light. You and you, you're gathering information. The other thing you're doing is you're taking information away from people. You're blinding people. They can't see. So you're taking, you, that's called owning or dominating a hallway. Um, you know, you've, you've got that. This is the tool. If you're a search and rescue guy, kind of, you know, very similar thing. You want to see as far as you possibly can, and you want your victims and patients to see you. So, you know, they can start whooping and hollering and blowing whistles, uh, getting your attention. So bright light, there's super applications for this. If you're a rancher, you know, hey, you know, I've got something out there in that field. Let's, let's, let's figure out what that is. This is the tool for it. You know, it's, it, you know, it'll, uh, it'll let you identify your, uh, your, uh, I want to say, there, and there's a term for it. It's the animals that want to come and eat your animals. Yeah, this is, this is the tool to help identify that. Uh, one of the things I like the, the best about this is, yeah, big old head. Well, big head is necessary for that, that beam throw. You know, there's nothing we can do about that. But this thin little body, and notice there's like no sharp corners. Everything's rounded. That slides right into the back pocket of my Levi's, which I love. Um, you know, a bunch sticks out, but it fits into the back pocket, lets me come out. I can run this with my support hand. I can and do, you know, something with my, you know, primary hand. It's a great, uh, it's a great tool. The, the balance point is just right about here at that switch. Uh, which means, you know, it makes it really easy for me to to run it. Uh, and still, it balances well, and I can turn it on, turn it off, change modes relatively easily. Okay, so here's my pet peeve, and, you know, is that this this little blue light is on. Well, the, the flashlight runs a long, long time, and that little blue light is like a pilot light. It takes hardly any, any energy at all. <sighs> Hardly any energy at all. But I know that it's wasting energy and that drives me nuts. Uh, that blue light, is that ruining my tactical advantage? Probably not. But, you know, I just don't like it. D knowing there's a light there, that's never, just doesn't seem like a good thing to me. Easy to fix. All we do is we press this seven times very, very fast and smooth. So let's see. So there's our, our blue light on. Let me shut this off for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There it is. It's off. Good, now it's in tactical mode, still works. Good, love it, excellent. You know, could I do that again? <laughs> Usually it takes me about two or three times to, uh, to get it to change modes on the, uh, the, uh, the pilot light. I don't, you know, so I'm not gonna try it again. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave a hero. So how bright is this thing? In moon, moonlight mode, 0.75 lumens, more than enough to read and, you know, do stuff like that. Good news is 48 days of runtime is what we found out on that. That's just unbelievable. And then we have our, our high mode, four hours. Great. You know, does, does uh, shutting that off make it four point something hours? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's that much of an energy uh, draw. But like I said, it bothers me. So four hours. Okay, what about good old turbo mode? Turbo mode is... 3.8 hours. So boom, boom, boom. Turbo mode, 3.8 hours. Um, so let me, let me tell you about turbo mode. Yes, it absolutely will run 3.8 hours in turbo mode. Turbo mode, this flashlight gets hot. That's why they, we even mark it. It says it gets hot. So, uh, but it is smart enough to ramp down. So it's gonna stay hot. It's gonna stay bright in turbo mode as long as possible. When it starts uh, getting too warm, that's going to damage the electronics. Uh, that's uh, and so, so rather than damage the electronics, it ramps down, and uh, you know that's that's a that's a good thing. Um, the other, you know, and I already talked about it. It protects the batteries. You know, if the batteries are getting too low, it will shut down. The flashlight shuts down and says, "No, your batteries are going to be damaged." And I can't get, not get enough light out of them. So that's a great feature, especially you know when you when you're running these batteries, um, you know to 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 take care of them, make them last longer. How how long is it? They, nobody gave me any dimensions. Roughly about ten inches long, you know, ten inches long. Roughly, how big is the head? 
roughly the, the head is about two and a half, maybe, sorry, two and a half, maybe a little bit more, uh, two and five eighths, maybe. Yeah, there we go, two and five eighths. And what do we got on the tail? You know, at the maximum here, I'm gonna just put that down. Boom, boom, boom. Maximum about inch and a quarter because this, this tail sticks out a little bit. I believe that's about inch right there, but inch and a quarter here. So let's talk about, you saw me put that head flat straight down. Yeah, that is a quick way to, yeah, don't do that. You're going to start a fire. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the other thing is not good for your light. However, the light will shut down on its own. So uh, is, it, is it terrible for the light? Yeah, it's not terrible for the light. It should protect itself. It's terrible for your coffee table. It's terrible for your car seat. That's it. So don't, don't do that. Yeah, it's not healthy, but it's not going to, it should not uh, immediately destroy your light. Um, good. What else do we need to cover on this thing? Uh, water resistant. Absolutely, it is water resistant. Uh, it's, you know, IP68. IP68 says, you know, uh, it, it's water resistant. Uh, I call it, you know, no problem getting it in the rain. You drop it in a puddle. It'll be just fine. Uh, pull it out. Uh, when I tell people it's water resistant, first thing they're talking about doing is scuba diving with it. It is not a dive light. Um, you know, dive lights are whole dif different animals. This is not a dive light. This is a, uh, you know, this is a high intensity, I want to call it LED searchlight. Something like just the world has not seen before. Um, I've never seen a light like this before. It's, you know, this, this competes with uh, spotlights on the side of uh, public safety vehicles. It's, it is a competitor. And just the throw on it is unbelievable. Good. Did I miss anything? Everybody walks away when I ask it if I missed anything. Well, they'll tell me later what I missed. Great. Well, that is the Night Throw LED Extreme Flashlight. I've got to figure out a way to do videos um, where you can see the video at night and I can still to see the light that's you know that's the problem with the one take videos is that we're still figuring them out good well hey thank you so much for visiting with us we look forward to seeing you in our next video as always stay safe be alert